Hello! Welcome to my LP of Super Mario 3. A uh, different kind of LP. That's my, gonna be my slogan from now on. Eh, never mind, that's stupid. And today's. What I'm gonna talk about today is me being a total uh, Kingdom Hearts fanboy. I know you might think it's like a sissy game and the premise for the game sounds really stupid. That uh, it's a kid fighting shadows with a dog and a, a duck. But, like, Zelda is about this elf running around killing monsters to get pieces of cheese to feed a pig. So, yeah. But a lot of games are like that. So if you have any of them, could you put them in the comments below? I think they're kind of funny. And right here, I do this pretty cool six thing with I dodge all that. Just kind of lucky. But back to this. Uh, Kingdom Hearts probably my favorite series. The story is just great. It's probably my favorite part of it. I kind of... It was actually kind of like this mythical game to me because I played it once at my cousin's house and I knew what, what it was and I loved it, but I never played it after that for like five years. I don't know why I just didn't go out and buy it. I had a PS2 while it was out for the longest time. And just last year, uh, my friends were talking about uh, 356 over 2, the one for the DS. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember that game. I never got to play it. And then I borrowed three games from my friend. And I got caught up on everything. And now I'm a total fanboy. Yeah, if you don't... Well, deal with it. I'm, I'm, I'm not really a fanboy for many other series. I like series I like Mario, like Zelda. But I'm a total fanboy for Kingdom Hearts. I'm so much a fanboy that, you know, Breath by Sleep, if you're a fan, it just came out, the one for the PSP. I didn't have a PSP, so I borrowed one from a friend, and bought the game, and I'm gonna beat it, I'm, I'm like 20 days into it, I'm almost done the thing. I bought the game and borrowed a PSP, and I'm gonna return it after the 30 days, get all my money back, and just, just so I could play it. That the sign of a total fanboy. Oh, and I'm gonna take a timeout right here. Uh, New World. I just beat the boss. This is called uh, Big World or like Large World. Yeah, I know there's a lot of that's what she said jokes I can make right here, but eh, you can make them up yourself because I will probably make a bad one and you'll come up with something better and you'll be like, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> what a noob. You should go cry to his mommy. And I will tell you, I cry to my mom daily, every day, because my life sucks. Oh, so, uh, back to the, the topic. If you've never played the Kingdom Hearts game and you have a PS2 or PS3, uh, go out and play them right away. They are, they have the, one of the greatest stories ever. It's kind of like a huge, a huge Lorcus, Lorcus, George Lucas, like, Star Wars type thing where Kingdom Hearts actually takes place 10 years before the latest Birth by Sleep game. And what he did at the, I'm not sure who made them or something, I'm not good with those names. Only Japanese name I can remember is Koji Kondo because it's an awesome name and he made awesome songs. Oh crap, I'm getting so, I'm so dyslexic with this name. No, it's AD, ADHD. That I go one topic back and forth, but uh, the writer, at the end of one, there's actually a cutscene, it, and it's not like straightforward, like this is what's gonna happen in the next scene, it's like way off, it, it's kind of like cryptic, and it tells what's gonna happen in the next game, well it doesn't tell what's gonna happen, it's like a, a flash forward, never seen that show, don't wanna see that show, it looked cool in the advertisement, but it's probably like uh, the event. I, I stayed up and watched it just to figure out what the event was. They didn't say it. They, they just, like, talked around. It was basically, like, lost. And I, I, now I'm doing TV reviews. I, I'm talking about Kingdom Hearts. But... Great game, great storyline that it has. And in 2, they did that, too. And But 2, they did a trailer for Birth by Sleep, which came out with the 5th Kingdom Hearts game. There's, yeah, there's only 5 out, and they said Kingdom Hearts 3 should be coming... I think like 2011. Uh, don't shoot me if I get any of these facts wrong, because I'm just doing this off the top of my head, and my internet wasn't working, so I couldn't Google it. But it's just—it's a 
great game. I have really nothing left to say about it. You should go check it out. Go read a view. It's it's really fun. Birth by Sleep. I would have to say, gameplay wise, is my is my favorite game. And I can't say story wise. Story wise, because I'm I'm near the end. I didn't finish it yet. So I'll get back to you on that in a later video. And. Wow, I haven't really paid attention to the gameplay this much. So I'll just say something right here. Uh, Thwomp's moving sideways. I think that's this is the only instance of it in the game. And the only instance of the walking fire things. Talk about much about my time. Well, I talked about it for four minutes. But it's partially badly. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. I don't think that Oh, now, now I'm starting to get in my mindset of my old LPs that I hated. It's how they came out. Do you do that? I'm just going to put this in the side. Do you do that if you make videos? Do you ever make a video and then you watch it like the next day and because you didn't upload it or you did upload it? And you're like, oh my god, this is horrible. Who would want to watch this? That's how I feel felt about my last episode. I didn't upload it yet, but I'm just doing this commentary before it because I have nothing else to do. And I guess that's it. I made it to the end of the video without having nothing to talk about. So next time on this LP, I'll be doing stuff. See you.